apologies. Okay. Centre for Circular Design is co-directed by me, Professor Becky Early, and Dr Kate Goldsworthy, who you'll meet in just a second. It's based at Chelsea College of Arts, where for the last 25 years, we've been pursuing textiles around how to make the textile industry a more sustainable place through design. Next slide, please. The research journey began in industry in making hand-printed fashion textiles, an experience which led us to become concerned about waste, chemicals, energy use, and water pollution. Working with the textiles teaching team at Chelsea, headed up at that time by Professor Kay Politovich, the Textile Environment Design Research Group evolved into a dynamic, practice-based research culture. Over time, we branched out to join forces with our colleagues at Central St. Martins and London College of Fashion. And for nine years, we worked together as TFRC, the Textile Futures Research Centre. In 2017, Kate and I founded CCD with the aim of focusing more on the research questions that relate to creating a circular textile industry. We frame these questions by thinking about three elements and how they interrelate materials, models, and mindsets. As a practice-led research center, CCD's work is anchored in materials and making. Researchers go back to the drawing board and redesign materials for circular systems from small scale handmade to the larger scale industrial processes using craft and traditional techniques, as well as new technologies to, to transform the routes that materials take during their life cycle. Central to this approach is collaboration with other makers, with scientists and with industry. New tools and methods are developed to enable interdisciplinary material development in reference to every stage of the material life cycle and importantly, with full consideration of circular products, services, systems and business models. Uh, now, handing over to Kate Goldsworthy. Next slide, please. Thank you, Becky. Um, I think all of this rich history that, that Becky's um, described has evolved against a backdrop of really dramatic change in the material space. While the 20th century saw an explosion of the man-made materials we use today, the 21st century will surely be dominated by the development of material recovery technologies, be that cycling back fibres and textiles post-use or using waste streams from other industries to become new raw material resources. With this shift, design has also had to adapt and expand into a more holistic practice with agency at every point in the materials life cycle. And as we move away from our linear models of making and consumption towards more circular and connected ones, our relationship with materials must also change. How we understand and design products, not as static objects, but as dynamic and evolving systems is key to a more sustainable future. This approach is core to the practice of circular design. At its most straightforward, we identify material waste streams and reinvent them as new products. And at CCD, we have developed many projects in this way and still do, with an ever more informed understanding of the wider impacts of our interventions. But this is also coupled with a more proactive approach, bringing end of life considerations into the very start of the design process, designing the end at the beginning. We're moving into an incredible era of material recovery and regeneration. Biological raw materials from milk to mushrooms can become semi-synthetic through processing, while the potential chemical recovery of synthetic fibers as new virgin quality resources is surely, surely implies a reinvention of these materials as future renewables. Next slide. Our research is often focused on very specific challenges and, and opportunities in the creation of, create, of circular economies, not least through our ever evolving group of PhD students. Catherine Hall is redesigning the mechanical recycling process and blending fibers for maximum future value. Lula Mercedes is working with the agricultural waste from the coffee industry in Colombia. Emmeline Child has developed scalable remanufacturing proposals for branded goods and Letitia Forst has defined design for disassembly, specifically for textiles for the first time. Sane Visser, our newest recruit, is exploring the potential of hair as a viable waste stream for new protein-based fibers. 
all using design and creativity within the context of a circular material life cycle to affect change. And I think this need to make and test theory through making and um, materials is core to our work. Our emeritus professor Kay Politovic describes it perfectly. I'm driven by the idea that I want to make something that embodies a change, however small the change or however large, making it intimately tied to research and in so in creating new knowledge. As our projects have necessarily become more collaborative, we find ourselves designing new tools and methods to facilitate these collaborations. Through these actions, we begin to understand how design can contribute not only in creating new circular materials and products, but also in improving sustainability at every stage of the life cycle, defining then refining that cycle. The need to find ways to work with multiple stakeholders from outside of design is essential for this truly systemic view. And at the heart of CCD is a desire to connect our research to its useful application, to simultaneously propose and test our ideas through embedded research and knowledge exchange in a real world context. And over to you again, Becky. Thank you. Next slide, please. The landscape of circular design is constantly evolving as industry and end users adapt and respond to new propositions. CCD recognizes that in order to move towards circularity, new models must be developed, tested and validated to challenge the status quo. In the applied research, this has included a new methodology for circular design driven work, a new service model for long life garments, as well as short life materials to support a model for ultra fast light fashion and a model for social cohesion in complex collaborations. Models are a central feature of the, of the center's approach as a way for our researchers to communicate the new ways of working, thinking and producing their exploring to a wider audience. New roles for designers are beginning to, um, ever more, to become ever more apparent as we pursue our research. This feeds into our work in education. Next slide, please. Circularity cannot be achieved without collaboration or behavior change. Within the mindsets theme, CCD researchers seek to enable designers, end users and collaborators from a diverse range of disciplines to move towards circular ways of thinking, working and being that enable decision making within the circular context. Workshops are an important mode for exploring mindsets, leading participants on a journey of discovery which will open their eyes to alternative practice. Toolkits enable mindset shifts to be effective beyond the workshop into the everyday. CCD works to encourage a step change in thinking, particularly with industry and science-based collaborators, as well as the general public. And so this slide is about a new venture that we launched last year on the 8th of October, which is a coming together of industry um, and us as researchers really to explore and to make real the um, interconnections and the, the roadmaps towards a future uh, fully circular industry. So this is sort of in a way testament to the collaborations that we've built over the years. Uh, during lockdown, we started to have online conversations which were hosted by Cindy Rhodes at Warn Again Technologies uh, and Gwen Cunningham uh, from Circular Economy Amsterdam joined in uh, then with Kate and I. And we brought people into sort of mass discussions, really, sort of 50 people at a time online, all from industry, talking about what was changing, how the pandemic was um, impacting on practices and plans, and um, sharing roadmaps, really, what they were planning to do, how they were trying to accelerate um, uh, towards change and so Cir World Circular Textiles Day was born with the idea that we would host um, through a platform uh, lots of people's roadmaps. We would create visions for how to achieve um, complete circularity by 2050 um, and so I'm going to hand back to Kate now to, to just wrap up the presentation and talk a little bit about how you can get involved and find out more about um, the work that we're doing here. So, um, no.
Next slide. Thank you. Oh, back one. <laughs> um, so as Becky says, the key theme of this project really is to, to try and shape a positive shared vision of the future and provide a roadmap to get there. Um, it aims to accelerate that change through this collective action and combined intelligence from all the partners um, that you saw on the previous page, but, but hopefully many more still to join. And I think for us, it's been a great um, sort of focus um, for much of our existing and ongoing research activity um, to contribute to this collective understanding. Recent projects um, relate to, for example, a roadmap of circular synthetics, um, and actions for design, which is um, what's showing on this slide. Um, a review of the charity sector in a project called Chariosity, which Becky leads on. The building of a knowledge hub um, with our partners at Circle Economy to capture the broadest picture of industry progress. And an exploration of data through dynamic real-time visualization, which um, we'll, we're currently working on. So I think, you know, the potential for this um, is hugely exciting for us and we would love um, many more people to join us on this journey. Final slide, please. So just to wrap up um, with, a, with a small call for action, really. Firstly, if you're interested in World Circular Textiles Day, please um, go to our website and sign up to find out more. Um, and all of our research projects and, um, you know, the full breadth of our, our work at, at CCD can be found on our website and uh, through our Instagram channel. So that's, that's the first centre done. 